I'm going to briefly talk about a concept called character set, also known as character encoding. When you create a file, for example, here I'm creating a file in a notepad and you save your work. When you save your work, you can save it in one of different available character sets. For example, if I go file save as and here is my file name, it's a text document, that's fine, I can add any extension to it like I did already HTML, HTML, but that's not the point here that I came for. Encoding is ANSI, NC encoding by default right now. So the question is what is encoding, what is character set, so all these are character sets, A NC, UTF-8 and so on. Okay, keep in mind that computer works on zero and ones in the background and we see all these characters like A, B, C, D, E, F, etc. and when we save the work A is not really saved as A, A is saved as some kind of zero one number at the back end and uh, as you already may know that zero or one is one bit and eight bits together consist of one byte so one character may be represented by one byte or more than one byte it all depends on the uh, on the character set that you are using now what's the point of all this the point is that when you save your document your HTML file it goes to the browser and browser needs to know what encoding you used to save your file if you don't tell the browser what encoding you use to save the file, browser may guess it incorrectly and you may see some garbage in the output. Therefore, it's always a good practice to tell the browser using the tag here that I'm going to show you right now. So it's always a good practice to put this line in your header section and this meta tag does not require closing. Not all the tags in HTML5 require closing, like for example title tag requires closing. You can see this slash uh, here representing the close of the title. So meta does not require closing. In meta char set equal to in double quotes you specify the uh, character set that you have used to save this file. The meta tag that you're seeing here and the doc type tag at the top, these two came in with HTML5. They were not there before. Everything else has been there since ever. Just to be correct, I'm going to put this text in the uh, paragraph uh, tags. This is the opening of a paragraph, closing of a paragraph, is, uh, uh, just to be correct. And uh, I'm going to talk about all these paragraph tags and all that later on. So now, this is a complete HTML5 document and I'm going to show you how to validate if your code is correct or not. Now coming back to the character set topic, UTF-8 is the most popular character set right now and NC was popular in the past. It has some limitations that UTF-8 has overcome. When we're talking about limitations, we are talking in the context of international languages like first 27 characters are pretty much saved the same way in both UTF-8 and NC format now we are telling the browser that this file is in UTF-8 format yet when I save the file I didn't change the format it's in NC so to be correct I should change the encoding to UTF-8 and save the work yes I want to replace the file and now it is it makes sense. We are telling the browser that this file is in UTF-8. In order to see the impact of the changes I have made in this file, I can go to my browser and do Control r You can see this text slightly was pushed downwards because of this paragraph text. Paragraph text puts everything in the paragraph. So we're going to talk about that later on. So now this is a complete document and we're going to test if it has any errors or not. I'm going to show you how to do that.